minute uh, and is ridiculous and absurd. <clears throat> but I want to see what your thought on this is in general. And we'll talk about the specifics of the wars, too. Uh, it sucks that it's now wars, plural. But, but we'll, we'll talk about that. But w- how do you think this plays in? With Not well. <laughs> not well, right? But I mean, like, with, like, with you with, know, I had Stuart J. Hooper on. Um, he, you know, he's uh, working on his PhD. Uh, basically, talks about globalism, global conflicts, and he's kind of seeing the same thing I am. You know, I'm a big history buff. I, I was very disappointed when the History Channel went from basically World War II and some World War One stuff to ancient aliens. Yeah, like that's all we get. Right. Uh, I've moved over to AHC, which is American Heroes Channel. They still have uh, some of the historical stuff. And uh, Hitler, Blue Prince of Evil, that type of stuff is what I watch. And when I watch that, and I watch not only the precursors to World War II, but also World War I, they have a lot of similarities for what's going on here. You know, you, you have not only these large-scale global conflicts with first world nations, but then things start popping off in the Middle East, Syria in particular, uh, for World War One, and then on the road to World War Two, and when we finally get there, to find out that Ukraine plays this huge role, and then have that coincide with that absurd Canadian speech and standing ovation for an ex-Nazi soldier, I'm just taken aback. Yeah. Now. As far as, you know, you talked about Reaper drones, one of the things that you didn't mention is that Israel uh, recently knocked out a missile that was supposedly traveling 62 miles above the Earth, a.k.a. in space. So warfare has changed tremendously from the last time we had major conflicts between Palestine and Israel in that beginning of the war on terror phase into now, where the war on terror was really a, a beta test, in my opinion, uh, for a lot of different things, including drones, including the robot dogs that have now been commercialized. You can get spot for anywhere from thirty-seven to $70,000, depending on what kind of gear you need. And we're starting to see that warfare play out. Now, at the same time, like I said, you've got these uh, regional conflicts breaking out in the Middle East. Well, big players are taking sides. Yeah. You know, you can't ignore that China is not happy with what's going on with Israel and Palestine and said they've drawn a red line if Iran gets involved. That's dangerous. Yeah. Uh, so for me, obviously, I want to see a de-escalation um, because I truly do believe that if we get something like a nuclear attack anywhere blamed on anybody for any reason, the world fundamentally changes for the worse. So listen, I, I don't like to I don't like to fear.